Hello friends, this video on surface area and volume part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 7. The question says the vessel is in the form of an inverted cone. So this is a cone and this is inverted. It's a vessel in this form. The height is 8 cm and the radius is 5 cm and it is open. This is hollow here. It is filled with water to the brim. Till this point, we have water is filled. So I'll fill the water this with water. This is water. Till this point, it is filled out. When a lead, when lead shots, each of which is a sphere of 0.5 cm, so they are lead shots like this, is dropped into this. So there are n number of lead shots which are dropped into this. Correct? They are dropped in this uh, vessel. One fourth of the water flows out. So from this, if the total volume is V, then V by 4 volume is out. And we have to find the number of lead shots. First understand the problem and then think what is the approach. This is a vessel filled with water in the conical shape. They are lead shots, spherical shape and they are put inside this uh, vessel. They are dropped into the vessel and V by 4 of this volume came out. We have to find the number of lead shots. So if you observe carefully, the volume of water came out will be the volume of lead shots because it was filled till this point of time. Till this it was filled to the brim. So if you are putting some lead shot and some water is coming out, that means the volume of this lead shots will be the volume of the water that came out. Correct. So, and it is V by 4. Now, since for this vessel, V, the height and the radius is known, we can find the volume of V. v. If you can find the val vol uh, value of V, we can also find the value of V by 4. And we know that V by 4 is nothing but the volume of lead shots. Correct. The total volume of lead shots we know. And volume of each lead shot also we know because the radius is known. The radius is known, we can find volume of each of these lead shots. So, and if there are n number of lead shots, n into the number of uh, n into the volume of one lead shot will be the total volume of the lead shots. Correct. See, that is, I will say n into volume of one lead shot. If they are, let's suppose, n lead shots, and that will be equal to volume of water displaced and that will be nothing but volume of cone by 4. Why? See if the question says if the volume of the cone is V and V by 4 water displaced. Correct? This is clear. N number of lead shot into volume of one lead shot, total number of total volume of the lead shots and lead shot will be equal to total volume of what in space? Total volume of lead shot is n into volume of one lead shot and this is equal to volume of what in space and volume of water displaced is nothing but volume of cone by 4. This if you understand this the problem is easy for you. The only difficult part in this question is to understand this logic. Why? The volume of the vessel is V. From this you have put some lead shots and V by 4 volume of water to know. The first thing you should understand is the volume, the total volume of lead shots will be equal to total volume of water came out. Total volume of lead shot is nothing but n into volume of one lead shot. And this is equal to volume of water displaced. And volume of water displaced is volume of cone by 4. Correct. So let's solve this question now. First we have to find volume of cone. Let's find this volume of cone first. So volume of cone is nothing but 1 by 3 pi r square h. Correct. 
So a volume of cone is one by three pi r square h. Volume of cone by four will be one by three pi r square h by four. Why I'm doing this? Because I have to find this volume of cone by four. This is my first equation. Second equation says n into volume of one lead shot is equal to this one. So volume of one lead shot is how much? Volume of one lead shot. This will be four by three pi r cube. Four by three pi r cube, and r is nothing but the radius of this lead shot. And for this, the radius is point five. So point five is right one by two. Four by three pi r cube. Correct. This r is one by two. So volume of Lead shot is four by three pi r cube, and n into volume of lead shot is how much? Multiply both sides by n. This is my second equation. And if I see that the question says I have this equation that is n into volume of one lead shot is equal to volume of cone by four. This equation I have to write here: n into volume of one lead shot is equal to volume of one space is equal to volume of four by four. So now let me write this: n into volume of one lead shot from this equation two is nothing but four by three pi into one by two cube into n, and this is equal to volume of four by four. So volume of four by four is nothing but one by three into pi r square. R is five here. Pi square into h is eight here by four. So I've got one equation, and I can solve this to find the value of n. One by three will be cancelled. So this becomes to solve this, n comes out to be this answer two. That is twenty five into two fifty fifty. Into two cube. Two cube. I can write two into two into two by this four. This and this cancel by four. So it becomes fifty into two. That is hundred. So the number of lead shot is hundred. And since it is number, I don't need to give units. It's hundred only. So the number of lead shots that are dropped in the vessel is hundred. Very simple. Just understand the logic. You have put the lead shots. The water came out. The volume of water that came out is equal to the total volume of the lead shots. Total volume of lead shots is nothing but n into the number of lead shots, n into the volume of one lead shot. And thus you got n into volume of one lead shot is equal to volume of cone by. Let's take one example. A solid iron pole consists of a cylinder of height two two zero centimeter. And base radius twenty four centimeter. So this figure, this is a pole, iron pole, two twenty centimeter height and twenty four centimeter diameter. This is surmounted by another cylinder, one more cylinder, cylinder one, and this is cylinder two, of height sixty centimeter and radius eight centimeter. Here, we have to find the mass of the pole, the total mass of the pole, given one centimeter cube of iron is equal to eight gram. Approximate. So the first thing we will do is we will find the volume of the whole figure. If you find the volume of the whole figure in centimeter cube, we know that one centimeter cube is equal to eight gram, and let's suppose that the volume is x centimeter cube, so total volume will be eight x gram. Correct. Very simple. Very simple question. We are just find the volume of the whole body, and finding the volume of the whole body is not that difficult. Why? Because the dimensions are given, the radius is given, the height is given. Just understand that here the diameter is given and here radius is given. So don't get confused. Always find the radius only. From this, this is twelve. So the radius will be sorry. The diameter is twenty-four. So radius will be twelve in this case. Here radius is given, so radius is going to be eight. Always try to find radius. Okay, this is one and this is two. So first find the volume. So volume of pole is nothing but Volume of cylinder 
वन प्लस वॉल्यूम ऑफ सिलेंडर वॉल्यूम ऑफ सिलेंडर इज हाउट पाई आर स्क्वायर एच दिस बिकम्स पाई आर वन स्क्वायर एच वन एंड दिस बिकम्स पाई आर टू स्क्वायर एच टू सो दिस बिकम्स पाई इन टू आर वन इज हाउ मच ट्वेल्व ट्वेल्व स्क्वायर एंड एच वन इज टू ट्वेंटी प्लस पाई इन टू आर टू इज एट एट स्क्वायर एंड एच इज सिक्सटी सो दिस बिकम्स पाई इन टू वन फोर्टी फोर इन टू टू ट्वेंटी प्लस सिक्सटी फोर इन टू सिक्सटी सो ऑल दिस फॉर दर दिस बिकम पाई इन टू थ्री फाइव फाइव फोर इन टू टू एट सॉरी टोटल थिंग्स इफ यू सॉल्व दिस इट कम्स आउट टू बी वन 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 फाइव थ्री टू पॉइंट एट सेंटीमीटर इज सेंटीमीटर टॉकिंग वर्ड वॉल्यूम सेंटीमीटर करेक्ट यू सॉल्व दिस इट कम्स आउट टू बी दिस नॉट सॉल्विंग इट इट्स वेरी इजी टू सॉल्व इट नाउ द क्वेश्चन से इज मास ऑफ वन सेंटीमीटर क्यूब ऑफ आयरन इज इक्वल टू हाउ मच एट ग्राम देर फोर मास ऑफ वन 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 फाइव थ्री टू पॉइंट एट सेंटीमीटर क्यूब ऑफ आयरन इज इक्वल टू एट इंटू वन 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 फाइव थ्री टू पॉइंट एट ग्राम करेक्ट so this all this is becomes 892. point sorry 892 262.4 gram convert into kg this becomes 892.262 kg dividing by 1000 get from gram to kg correct this is comma and this is dot so very simple the first thing we should do is find the volume because One centimeter cube is equal to eight gram. So if we know the volume, we can say that this is equal to x grams. Thank you. Visit examfear. com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.